What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and imagers? It's me again, and it's good to see you. I'm Animagus, and today we're going to be talking about the Wizarding Weekend details coming up October 2nd through the 5th. Again, October 2nd through the 5th at 11 a.m. Pacific, uh, 1 Central, 2 Eastern, and this is going to be a really good one. For me personally, I'm extremely excited because I will be finishing this page. Uh, we're going to be talking about what is going to be in the bundle. Spoiler alert, it's Tonic for Trace Detection. We're going to be talking about the spawns on the map. We're going to be talking about what's boosted, what isn't, uh, and what the rewards look like. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so as you can see on screen, and of course by none other than Orange Wizard, we have the graphics provided for this Wizarding Weekend. That means we will be searching the Dark Arts Foundables uh, all over the map. We'll be using the Tonic for Trace Detection to reveal those, and it will include Magic Most Evil, Thestral, Portrait of Voldemort, Percival Graves and Tom Riddle. Now, of course, Magic Most Evil and the Thestral aren't on the Fallen Ministry Atrium page, but the last three are Portrait of Voldemort, Percival Graves, Tom Riddle. All going to be very, very helpful uh, ways to prestige your pages. Maybe get it up to that gold frame if you're close. I'm on silver and fairly close. I will definitely make it after this Wizarding Weekend, so that's exciting. Get all those XP gains, get all those Ministry Manuals, and so on and so forth. Now, another... Uh, specific to this event feature will be guaranteed exploration foundable fragments okay so we haven't had this I feel like we haven't had this in a while have we I don't know this year is it feels like a decade but anyway we'll have guaranteed exploration foundable fragments when completing a challenge in forest chamber four or above and that can include the magic is might statue which is included in the fallen ministry atrium page and Tom Riddle senior gravestone so those are going to be the two fortress foundables that you need to chase in order to prestige those pages. So this event, like self-contained, this event can really, really get you some progress. If you're if you're far behind on the Dark Arts pages, maybe you don't see those that much. Maybe you haven't experienced them that much. You don't have landmarks nearby when that was a thing. Uh, and you haven't seen these Dark Arts foundables. This is going to be the perfect weekend for you. Again, October 2nd through the 5th. And special assignment will include rewards like Defense Against the Dark Arts books, yay! Red Spell books, yay! And Silver Keys, which are going to be awesome for port key events later in the month, like the Community Days uh, for Makeup September and October, that are going to be the 17th and 18th, so save those Silver Keys. As we look at the special assignment, the task for this particular event can be completed in any order. There's no pressure to do them in any specific order. Just play the game and ding, you'll be great. First, on the top of the list, from top to bottom, we'll read it as follows. Complete 10 wizarding challenges with three or more teammates for some powder dragon claw. Defeat 25 foes in wizarding challenges for six snowdrops. Earn 2,000 dark arts family XP for two strong extemulo potions. Return 25 portraits of Voldemort for three level five dark arts rune stones. Return 20 Percival Graves for 10 spell energy and return 15 Tom Riddles for 10 spell energy. When you get all done with that, you get 200 Dark Arts Family XP, two Defense Against the Dark Arts books, two Red Spell books, and one Silver Key. So, I know what you're thinking. 2,000 Dark Arts Family XP? What? But to be honest with you, it's really, really going to be easy in, the, in this event. You're going to be getting tons of Family XP just from returning the traces. You're going to be getting tons of Dark Arts Family XP for placing images. So, as soon as you get the chance to place an image, because these spawns are going to be so common... And they're going to be so everywhere all over the map. Don't worry about it, okay? Make sure you have plenty of Barufio's brain elixirs and plenty of tonics. I actually have a lot of tonic to brew because I'm pretty sure I ran out because I couldn't find any of the freaking brilliant Harry Potter spawns this last brilliant event. So I've got to brew a lot of tonics. So make sure you're not short on tonics. Make sure you're not short on Barufio's brain elixirs and you will have a great weekend with this i think that it's going to be a huge gain for xp for a lot of people uh, that's kind of what these are uh, you know all about with these varying levels of spawns i think this is going to be great for field guides it's going to be great for ministry manuals i i really see no downside to this these tasks really are not going to be tough especially when you have all weekend to get that 2000 dark arts family xp don't even sweat it it's going to be fine pinky promise now, of course, there are going to be some gifts, and if you guess that there was going to be the ingredients for the tonic for trace detection, then not only are you very aware of how this game works, but <laughs> congratulations, I guess. Gold star, I don't know. The complimentary gift will have the ingredients for one tonic for trace detection, one level one dark arts runestone. Really? 
and 50 spell energy. The SOS bundle will contain five extimulo potions, uh, just the regular variety, five or three tonic for trace detection, what are words, and 125 spell energy. You can get that for 410 gold. Eh, whatever. Uh, the Ministry Supplies Bundle will be 700 gold, and you'll be getting six potent stimulant potions, two Barufia's Brain Elixirs, three Tonic for Trace Detections, five Level 5 Dark Arts Rune Stones, and 125 Spell Energy. Now, I did fail to mention something, and I do want to make an amendment really quick because I just realized I usually don't do this, guys. I usually get to post production, and then I realize I made a dumb mistake. So now we're doing it live. There will be Rune Stone drops from these Foundables. That's what I almost forgot to say. You can actually get them live to drop on the map, levels 1, 2, and 3 runestones, just by returning the foundables, okay? So there's a chance for that. It isn't a guarantee every single time, but there is a chance. And the good news is, no matter what runestone you're using, no matter what chamber it is in, and as long as it's forest chamber 4 or above, you will be getting those guaranteed fragments. So if you have a bunch of level 1 runestones that you just want to trash, you can use those this whole weekend and get those guaranteed fragments. Big win great success so again for this weekend guys make sure that you have those tonics ready make sure that you have all of the barufios that you need because it's going to be huge you don't want to miss out on all the xp on all of those gains for your pages and all that stuff too so that's all that i have for you today in regards to this particular event if something else comes up i'll make an amendment later in the comment section or maybe just doing a whole other video who knows i'm back we're doing videos, so it's great to see you. This is your first time here. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Animagus, and I love that you are here. If you could, please leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed the content. Hit that red subscribe button and ring those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a spectacular day, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.